Ryan Westbrook here with GeekWire Studios at NVIDIA GTC with Nebius. And we're very excited now to introduce you to Drew Jiggle, who is the head of AI for Captions. Drew, first of all, what an exciting week, a great conference. What have you picked up so far? Well, so this is my first uh, GTC. So just kind of getting the lay of the land, walking around, seeing friends, uh, just getting a feel for generally where the vibes are. You know, it's very exciting, but yeah, first time, so just really feeling it out. I love that, and it's always good to kind of get a feel for the vibe, okay. feel for what's going on here. Tell us about Captions and what you bring to the table. What are you doing in this space? Yeah, absolutely. So Captions is a generative video and video editing platform. So we develop our own models, but we're also just a general place where consumers can go to use video AI tools to help them tell stories. So really what we're trying to do is use and develop the newest in AI to let people do one of the oldest things, which is just tell stories. And tell us about some of those stories that you have to bring to the table and how Nebius has unlocked that storytelling for you as a company. Completely. So um, right now we're in the process of developing a, a large audio to video foundation model. We just released the first version of this last week. It's called Mirage. And we've been training it using uh, a Nebius cluster. So Nebius has really been instrumental for providing the stability, the scaling that we need to really train these large scale models. So this is, um, it's, it's a, basically an order of magnitude jump from the previous cluster that we were using, both in terms of the size of the model, in terms of the reliability of the training, and um, really just having that stability, having that ability to rely on Nebius has been really crucial for us as we kind of push the state of the art on what these models can do. So it's made the development journey much easier and allow us to focus on really the big problems that we want to solve, as opposed to kind of the low level debugging and stability issues that we'd found before. When you talk about other cloud providers, what are some of the challenges that is that Nebius has helped you overcome? Well, so one of, the, one of the interesting things about being in a startup space right now is we, you know, we're in a position where we're kind of doing everything from scratch for ourselves. And um, being with Nebius has really provided that, a nice sort of cushion of support so that we don't have to worry about all of the low-level details. We can sort of uh, bootstrap off of the reliability processes that they have, the sort of the best practices that they have in place to get the really the, um, the cluster working stably. And it's made it easier to kind of focus so that we're solving a thousand problems at the same time. Nebius allows us to solve 999 instead of all of those in the same go. So do you find that with Nebius you get a level of support and a level of reassurance, kind of a level of scalability that your team can rely on to get things done? Yeah, that's totally been our experience. So um, we, uh, both in terms of their sales team, in terms of their uh, their support that they provide on the technical side of things, they've been very dependable, very proactive in sort of coming at us and providing the, the solutions that we need. So um, as we're thinking about scaling out inference, for example, they have been very flexible in terms of providing us with um, very easy ways to scale up our model and quickly test it in different settings. Talk to us about the specific products you're using at Nebius. What most fits what you need? So we're really focused on large-scale training. So um, uh, it, for the last quarter, basically, at Captions, especially on the machine learning research team that I lead, we've been really pushing out, like building out all of the infrastructure that we need to train our large-scale models. Um, and this is because really, um, so historically, Captions has done uh, AI-related products in a lot of different ways. So from just, cap so the namesake here is just video captioning. Uh, but um, in the older days, we were taking really whatever off-the-shelf tools we could, making them as, uh, packaging them, and making them as usable, as sort of as pretty, as as nicely consumer focused as possible. But in the last year, the team has really been focusing on large scale model development internally. So really starting from this place where we're using a lot of off the shelf tools, making them really powerful and useful for consumers. But we're really in the game now of building out these models from scratch, sort of developing new technology, pushing the frontiers of what can be done in the video AI space. And when we get to this point, it's really, really critical that we have large scale uh, training infrastructure that we can rely on, that we can use on to iterate on the experiments that we're running, and that we can have a sort of a multi thousands of GPUs dedicated to a single training run, and we know that we can trust it. So when the inevitable failures happen, we, uh, we can rely on Nebius to sort of help us pick up the pieces and recover from that as seamlessly as possible. And this is really crucial, you know, as we're spending, basically the capital outlay here is large enough that we really need to make sure we have as much uptime as possible. And as we're sort of pushing further in this direction, it's going to become more and more crucial for us. And let's talk about the next generation. Let's talk about new technologies that you mentioned. Yeah. What are you excited to work on in the future? You're kind of doing your own models, but also what products will that unlock for your customers? 
No, completely. So it's a great question. Um, so we're focused on really both of these at the same time. So uh, the model that we recently released, which is powering a brand new product, uh, is called Mirage. Mirage is an audio to video foundation model focused on generating A roll. And just to unpack that, what that means mm -hmm. is um, a lot of video models focus on silent videos, so producing really great imagery. But the emotionality, the charisma in videos, the movies that we love, the television shows that we love, comes from people telling stories, using their full body, using their voice, and all of the sounds around them to communicate a very clear through fare um, that tells you an overall story that takes you from place A to place B and does it in a very emotional way. So because of that, it's really important to capture not just audio, not just imagery, but really that intersection of the two and make sure they work together seamlessly and really compellingly to push us forward in a certain direction. And so the products we're building really depend on this technology because the products are about, so really we want to make it easier for um, end users, this is both consumers and, um, and enterprise customers, to be able to tell whatever story they need, whether this is communicating to their followers on social, whether it's uh, sort of communicating to other companies, advertising the businesses that they're selling. All of these things are really depend on this same basic technology. And at the root of that is really connection, emotion, charisma, being able to really find someone and reach them with the story that you're telling. Um, and so we really need to develop out this base technology in order for the products to make even any sense. So it's not just a matter when we're talking about audio, just that people are saying something, but that they're using their whole body, their whole face to communicate that story. And and we're, we're continuing to push in this direction. So this is really early days in, the, in this technological space. Um, so we're, we're very happy with the model that we put out, but there's lots still to do. So making it work for longer context, so being able to generate even longer streams of video, being able to integrate it in all of the editing workflows that professional video creators have, making sure that's super seamless. And we've been building out the infrastructure, been building out the ecosystem to allow people to do that on our platform, using both the models that we're developing and other models that, um, that are coming from a, the, so much that's happening in the AI world right now and making sure that people can actually have access to that on captions. So really the roadmap for us in the future is just continuing to push the boundary on this and building the products that really meet people where they are when they're trying to create video and tell stories. AI, friend or foe? Did you notice that I'm AI generated? Stop scrolling and listen up. I tried this viral ring light so you don't have to. I tried this viral ring light so you don't have to. I tried this viral ring light so you don't have to. I tried this viral ring light so you don't have to. Guys, these under eye patches changed my life. This is about to blow your mind. Stop wasting your money on the wrong supplement. The era of lip syncing is over. What is one thing that you would tell the Nebius team about your experience using? Uh, so it's just simplified our lives to have a partner that we can really rely on. To know that um, if things crash in the middle of our in the middle of night, so for our team, so we're we're a, we're a team that's based solely in New York, so we're time zone restricted in that way. And just having a team that really um, around the clock is there and make sure that when whenever we have a crash, they're there to quickly recover for it. Whenever we have some technical um, questions, something we need to expand to, they'll be able to to fill in the gaps. Um, that's been a huge uh, a huge relief for us. It is super important to have great storytellers to be able to put that all together and to share out the story and to build the company. Thank you so much for joining us. Drew Jagel is the head of AI at Captions. I'm Brian Westbrook, GeekWire Studios. Thanks for watching.